My name is Janae Eastland, and I did a lead project this October at Squalicum Creek Park after learning about it through a guest speaker we had in bio class. This park is still developing its forested areas, and in order to do that, my roommate and I helped plant vine maples and other assorted trees. Planting trees is very beneficial to Earth's natural processes such as photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Photosynthesis is conducted in the leaf of the vine maple, for example, where sunlight is absorbed by the stomata. This causes a reaction in the chlorophyll of the plant that is only found in the chloroplasts of the plant cell. H2O and light from there will go through a chemical process called the Calvin cycle. This is vital for humans since photosynthesis provides us with oxygen. Cellular respiration will occur in plants when they take the CO2 we exhale and then turn it into their energy in order to survive. Glucose produced from photosynthesis will be used in glycolysis, which will lead to the Krebs cycle. This takes place in the plant cell's mitochondria, where energy is put to use for the cell. Oxidative phosphorylation will complete this cycle by reforming ATP for the plant to use. While planting trees is important when creating an ecosystem, so is removing invasive plants. At Squalicum Creek Park, we took away things such as scotch broom in order to make room for other plants to grow. This will increase the biodiversity of the park in the future since it will contain mostly plants found in the Pacific Northwest. After planting trees, we were shown how to properly trim the branches off of alder trees so they would not get in the way of other trees like the vine maple's growth. The rule is that you have to cut close to the heart of the branch and avoid leaving stubs at all costs. This will allow disease to start in the alder if it's not properly cut. The alder trees that were completely cut down were broken up and spread around the planting site in order for them to provide nutrients to the ground since alders contain nitrogen. Mulch was also spread around the tree's base in order to maintain the moisture and improve the fertility of the forest floor. The result will hopefully improve the soil's productivity. The day was only the beginning of many lead projects that will take place at this park. Being a part of it helped me understand how the nutrient storing in the ground we assisted with will help with the plant's growth so we can keep up with natural cycles such as photosynthesis and cellular respiration and or impending biodiversity.